I drew until the end of high school, but I didn't think I was talented enough to take art classes, so I quit for a while. When I moved to Nunavut, I was inside a lot, so I picked up a sketchbook and started drawing everything in the apartment. I've been making art ever since. I gave up on art in junior high in favor of academics. I took up photography in college and later fine woodworking. I think I'm at my most creative when I feel inspired or challenged. After watching Sophie's great results with sketchbook journaling on our hiking trips, I decided to try my hand at drawing. We both participated in the 28 Days of Practice Challenge, and I think it was a just barely comfortable stretch for our perseverance. Each day, we picked something random to draw, set up our chairs beside one another, grabbed a mug of tea or a glass of wine, and got to it. Part of the fun for us was deciding on a subject and then seeing how we each rendered it in a different way. I tend to rush a bit, so Sophie's patience through her drawing process has helped me to slow down and spend more time just seeing. Paul is a stabilizing force in my life. On the days where I was feeling stuck or uninspired, knowing that we were in it together helped me keep going. Having an audience on Twitter made our little effort feel like we were part of a big fun project. There were some days where I'd feel like I just couldn't get an accurate drawing and Paul would breeze along. Other days were a role reversal. Seeing that gave me confidence that the good days and the bad days happen to everyone, but the important part is to just keep going and enjoy the process. I've read a bit about this idea that failing is the new winning, meaning you have to fail over and over again to improve. Honestly, some days I'd rather buy art supplies than actually make art. You need to be gentle with yourself. Think of practice as a meditation. If you're anxious, you can scribble first on a scrap of paper to loosen up. The consistency of drawing daily made me bolder. When I did it, I saw more happy accidents where new textures and interesting brushwork just magically appeared on my paper without me really knowing how it happened. That's the magic of daily consistent practice. So just keep going. And just practice.